Thursday morning, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, waiting for Tim Kaine. I think it's fair to say that when the two running mates were selected this year, you had Tim Kaine, you had Mike Pence. On one side, you have vanilla pudding. On the other side, you have vanilla ice cream. But all of a sudden, after Hillary Clinton had her health episode last weekend, that's trained a much brighter spotlight on Tim Kaine. Tim Kaine's manifestly qualified to be president of the United States, but what he hasn't been subjected to is voters starting to ask the question, what would it look like if something happened to Hillary Clinton? Let's go. Good to see you. Good to see you. Do you know our gubernatorial candidate? Hey, how are you? Colin Colin Manistrin. Manistrin. Good to see you. Nice to see you. He just won the primary two days ago. Congratulations. Two days ago, 36 hours ago. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> there, all those hours are a little bit of a blur right now. <laughs> you got you with the massive coattails from Clinton oh, Kane. I mean, hey. The next vice president of the United States of America, Tim Kane. I will tell you a little secret about me. I have run eight races and I have won eight races, and I'm not gonna lose this one. I'm not gonna lose this one. Let's go win this thing. What's different about being a vice presidential nominee? Yeah, like, just as a day-to-day -day experience, what's different? It's a lot different. The security dimensions of it are quite a bit different, and there's just nothing that prepares you for it. When my wife and I got back to our house for the first time after the convention, and she saw the, the, the amount of security around our house, she, she just burst into tears because she was like, you know, we love our neighbors. They're going to hate us, you know? We, we've worked so hard to have great neighbors. They're going to hate us now. If I looked up and saw the video of my friend, partner, whatever, what happened with her on Sunday, that would freak me out just as someone who cares about the person. Yeah, it reminded me of a time in my life. I was running my first race. I got diagnosed with pneumonia. So I very much understood that motive of, I think I can power through this. Polls show that people are, are looking at these, are concerned about both candidates' health. But if you felt in this week like a new kind of focus on you, like new, more eyes, more scrutiny, more... Yeah, I, I haven't, John, I'll tell you why. I think this race is just absolutely existential for the country. When you get into a campaign where one side believes deeply in equality and respect and the other side it's okay to go after people because they're Mexican-American it's okay to trash a disabled reporter it engages the most competitive neuron of my last atom I'm not thinking about myself at all I don't think well I'm under more pressure I'm under maximum pressure and it can't be increased